I'm sorry, but I can't hear one more person tell me that the jury was right and that Sonny is innocent and that he didn't kill my family. That's not what I was going to say. Do you understand say. me? I know that you believe Sonny. Michael does too. Everyone does, but I can't listen to it anymore because I'll never get Cole and Hope back. They're gone to me. Do you understand? I can't imagine to begin the lawsuit. You can't understand. Deal with. No one can understand. Everyone says I can't understand. What do I tell them? How do I possibly explain to them what it's like to want to tell Cole something but not be able to? To reach out my hand and him not be hit there? I'll never see Cole again. I have to remind myself every day that I will never see Cole again. I will never hold hope in my arms. Star, how can this be all I have left of them? I am so sorry about what happened to you. You don't have to be sorry because it wasn't your fault. I was 16 years old when I found out I was pregnant with Hope. It was an accident. But she was the best. Just like everything else. What do you mean? Well, um, I loved Cole so, so much. And he loved me too, but our parents, they did not want us together. That must have been hard. You know what they say, best things are worth fighting for, and that's how Cole and I felt. We understood each other. I loved him more than anyone. But, um... But when I found out that I was pregnant, I, I was so young, I didn't feel that I was ready to be a parent. So I, I decided to give our baby up for adoption. What happened to change your mind? I felt that I had lost her. Um, it's a very complicated story, but when I finally got her back, I knew that I was ready to be a parent, and I knew that I was not ready to let her go, but I couldn't. It must have been hard raising a kid at your age. No, actually, um, I was really lucky. I never had to worry about money, and my family, they would help out, you know, with my mom and my Aunt Dorian and my Aunt Vicky and my grandma. And Cole. Actually, I didn't have Cole. Not for a while. And I don't think I wanted to believe it. I, I really had to learn how to live without him. And I was not I was not truly happy. But then when we got... When we got back together, somehow it all just... It all worked out. We were going to be a family again. And then we ended up on that road here at Port Charles. I don't understand why it had to happen. Why did it have to happen to me? Why did I, why did I get them back just to lose them again? Why? If someone could give you an answer and tell you exactly why the accident happened and who was to blame, Would that lessen your grief? I don't know. Probably not. I'll, I'll always miss them. I'll always wish that things would have been different. I can't tell you how many times I think of the what ifs. What if we hadn't gotten on that plane? What if our plane hadn't been diverted? What if we just stayed at a hotel that night near the airport? Michael warned me not to do that. He said I would drive myself crazy, and he's right. What happened was random. Start a tragic sequence of What? Events. No. Cole and Hope weren't struck by lightning. This, this was done on purpose. But no, no one wanted them to die. Anthony Zakara? Somebody wanted him to die, and now Cole and Hope are dead because someone shot out his tires. Yes, someone did. That is the only one not telling me to accept that Cole and Hope are gone and to just move on with my life as if that were even possible. You're right, someone killed Cole and Hope. And they don't deserve to walk around free. They deserve to pay.
I wish I could give your boyfriend and your daughter back to you, Star. But at the very least, you deserve to know the truth I about how I do know the died. truth. I don't believe you do. What you think happened that night is not what happened at all. Some truths are too painful to face. We hide from them. We deny them. We try to convince ourselves that we never I know where you're going with this, and I told you that I can't talk about Sunny. This isn't now. about Sunny, Star. What is it? <laughs> okay, you're going to tell me that you have to believe him because you love him, right? And that it would be too painful to possibly think that he could have been the one that caused this accident. Then you're going to tell me why you had to testify and try I'm not to explain to me. making excuses for Sunny, and I don't expect you to understand. Good, because I don't. I don't know how to do this. <sighs> I can't. Do what? I, I have to tell you something. Tell me and what? And I can't wait. Uh, but what's going on? <sighs> what you say as little as possible. It reduces the Alexis, chance of a misunderstanding. Star has to hear what I have to say. Excuse us, Star. I need a moment I alone with my client. I just need a minute. Client. I'm Alexis, afraid we don't have that kind of time. Go on. Yes, this is not, not another word. I was having a conversation with Star. I see. Little girl talk between soulmates. If I hadn't walked in when I did, you were going to say that Connie shot out Anthony's tires, right? You weren't there, Alexis. The way she was talking about her boyfriend and her little girl was heartbreaking. She's in a lot of pain. Do you think that Star suspects something? Do you think she was trying to guilt you? She doesn't know I'm responsible. That's why I have to tell her. She deserves to know how she lost her family. Kate, what you think happened is theoretical. You do not know that you or Connie had any involvement you're in right. that accident. Okay, you're right. But after talking to her, I know what I have to do. What is that? What I was afraid to do before. What were you afraid to do before? I need to know the truth. I have to let Connie out. I need to know what happened that night. If I destroyed that girl's life.